I'm nervous. <laughs> How do you feel? I mean, I was nervous when I saw that they were calling. Yeah. Yeah. Thought maybe it might be tomorrow. Calm and strong is my mantra. Calm and strong. Calm. You got it. We got a big adventure ahead of us in a few hours. All right, here we go. Look at this. We got our professional camera woman out here. <laughs> Bliss and I. An Asher moon. Walking Asher. Might be our last walk before our baby girl is here. Yeah, it might be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great, crazy to think about. How are you feeling about the call? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> How do you feel? I mean, I was nervous when I saw that they were calling. Yeah. Yeah. Thought maybe it might be tomorrow. They might you want call it to us. be today? I'm ready. Yeah, we're never going to be like 100, like I feel fully prepared to take care of a so, newborn child. It's going to be the 25th probably, unless somehow you have like a really easy miracle birth that's like two hours. I will, I've been drinking raspberry tea we'll get and that's what it's supposed to do. 11, 1159. <laughs> that would be great. I just, I don't know. I feel like we've had, I feel like she's teaching us a lesson by not coming on all of these quote unquote special days that we've had, you know? <laughs> yeah. Her, whatever day she's born is her it's special, her special day. day. Yeah. It's gonna be our most special day. Are you ready for number three, mom? I was born ready. You were? So if I was like 14, like, mom, I'm you pregnant. Were, you were already a teen mom with Popsy. Remember everybody thought you were? I know. Mom. Yeah. Like, I'm not a teen mom. Well, no, I would just be like carrying her around in the mall, and this girl's like, Your baby's cute. And I'm like, Oh, she's not my baby. And she was like, Are you sure? And I was like, I think I'd remember if I gave birth. Pretty sure. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, are you sure? So, what do you want to do, baby, before we take you in? I know. Well, they said you need to eat a really good meal. Okay. So, yep. we should go have that sushi down the street. That's not what I want. Well, I was thinking steak. I could go We and could get have some a good steak. steak. Yeah. Ooh, we could have a steak dinner. You know, mm -hmm. I love steak. Zach had a dream that she was named Oasis. Oasis. Oh my God. Oasis. That is so cute. Oasis Zushi. And she's like really like talking. She was like talking to me like, like it was in Dune. What did she say? I don't know. My name is Oasis. Oasis. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? Uh, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. What are you nervous about? Uh, just everything. I just want us to get through this well, you know? Yeah. I want you to be healthy and safe and... Yeah. I felt your mom's presence really with me last night. Like, I know that's weird, but I really felt her with me. And I think that it's going to be okay. I really want to try to, like, keep progressing the labor, you know? Yeah. So that, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time, hopefully. I'm gonna get the epidural probably. I'm scared. I don't know. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? <clears throat> I'm a fine. I think I'm having a contraction right now. No, I mean okay. about this. You got the time now. Okay? Yeah. Nervous. Nervous. I'm give you a hug, honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, I really tried to give her as much. I have a little bit of like guilt that I'm just gonna try to let go of. Like, I feel like I gave her as much time as possible. Tomorrow is 41 weeks, and that's when the doctor was like, risks start to right Zach mm -hmm. so are we doing the right thing yeah, I think so are. yeah is Asher gonna be okay is he gonna cope okay with the new baby oh, he's gonna be but he was great with Abby. you're gonna love her he great with Luke. you're gonna love her right? you have a new bestie Your coming loves her. I don't even remember what it feels like to not be pregnant wow on my back. I just want to sleep on my back. I'm not like a big stomach sleeper, which is my back. I just want to lay on my back and eat sushi and drink alcohol. I never thought I would miss alcohol and I really don't, but I want to be able to have a drink of alcohol and I'll probably get wasted off of one sip. I'll have a sip too. Yeah. Then I'll Jackson have two wasted, wasted people. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> I feel like doing the Gundam or whatever. Wow, and I the can eat oysters. Wait, this is perfect timing. You have a baby in the spring so you can like enjoy the summer. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I'm also a little nervous about my body and like re being like, ooh, hopefully I fit in my clothes. Yeah. How do you feel, Daddy? Here, let me take it. Daddy just wants to make sure mommy and baby girl are safe. That's all he cares about. So we got a big adventure ahead of us in a few hours making sure that there's some big decisions. You know, we, we've talked with our doula and they've told us um, 
that often cesareans are pushed pretty aggressively in induction. We have her though to help us. Yeah, just trying to figure stand out. Stand our ground. And well, if it's medically necessary, then of course, yeah. you know, we just kind of have to figure out whether or not it is in that moment or whether it's just kind of wanting to take the easy path. It's wild how many cesareans there are in the US. I think one of the hospitals we looked at was like, what did Brianna tell us it was? 34%. 34% cesarean. The ones that's close to here. So more than one in three women. And ours is 25%. That go in would get a cesarean. And induction increases that chances. And both of Kim's friends that got induced ended up having C sections. Well, I got induced with Totsie. And she didn't have a C section. She almost I mean, died with though. With twins, I didn't have a C section. Even with a 10 pound baby, I didn't have. So we're, you're fine. It's all fine. It's fine and if I have, have a C-section too. Whatever done. happens, happens yeah, uh -huh. as long as she's healthy. Right. But I'm not bringing the energy in about having a C. I feel like I'm not going to need one. Yeah. But I don't know. And yeah. you guys have made all the smart choices over time to choose the best team around you. And I think we're going to have that badass doctor who was mean, but I liked her. Too smart. <laughs> all right. She was like, you want to come to the hospital and your brains out? Then take castor oil. <laughs> <laughs> She was okay. not gentle with her cervical check either. It was like, Fuck, was that the membrane sweep or the cervical check? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. We're going to do minimal cervical checks. I'm going to try to wait and not have an epidural and let my body do what it knows yeah. how to do. Yeah. Calm and strong is my mantra. Calm and strong. Calm. Yeah. You got it. You got it. And Asher is going to Asher is going to come with me. Give me a high five on it. Okay. And it. Asher is going to come with me. Oh, gonna, the doctor's going to have Asher on her back. back. <laughs> no, Asher will be scared. He's going to stay home. But mommy loves you. Okay, let's run him, honey. Yeah, let's run him.